Uh, g'day legends and welcome back to another episode here with Back to Basics Adventures as Strick and today we're in the Southern Great Barrier Reef, a place that is very close to our hearts yep. and we're about to go for a spear in a place that's quite nostalgic to us, isn't it Strick? Very much so mate. This area we're about to dive is um, hands down some of my favourite memories, spear fishing. It's where we sort of took our diving to the next level. We speared our first big red empress together, yep. big tuskies and there's always a heap of sharks so I feel this kind of dive really made us better divers back in the day. Yeah, it was about six or seven years ago, I'd say, we started coming yeah. to this sort of section of the Barrier Reef and yeah. man, so many good memories. And yeah, yeah. we very rarely these days get an opportunity to dive out of the same Mate, ship, out of I the know. same vessel. That's right, you're flying your own flag and I'm, um, I'm in a different boat most of the time, especially when we're running trips. Yeah. So yeah, looking forward to seeing you underwater, seeing if you still got it. Bro. Right, today's the day, forces yeah. combined. Let's go see what we can run into. What are you, what are you hoping for? Under? Oh, look, anything's possible. Red emperor, black spot tusk fish, green job fish. Look, something that tastes good mm. and uh, is colorful. Quality <laughs> over quantity. 100%, yeah. always. Quality's the key. One or two key fish. Let's get in there, bro. Let's do it. It's um, a lot of sandy, shoaly country. And then you see on the sounder a few harder bombies. That's what we're marking and uh, about to jump in on. That's a good one there. And there's another one about 20 meters up here by the looks of it. Hopefully we can get the trip cut. Current should be running straight down the end of the reef. So we go up 20 meters above the rock. That's where we can start. And then hopefully we just run into other rubbly country. Yeah. And that 15 to 18 meter mark. Awesome, mate. Ooh, I'm excited! <laughs> oh, we're right on a good spot here, bro. See a big trout on the bottom? <laughs> I told you, mate, I told you I'd put you on the spot. <laughs> First to make a dive on this really fishy looking spot. As I was swimming down, I noticed coral trout off to my left and right. And then a bigger one came storching up at me. This guy was the bigger one, so I thought I'd take him. Right, beautiful coral trout on the first dive there. There was uh, maybe three or four fish, very similar, and this one was the biggest one. Beautiful bar cheek trout. They are awesome eating, so I couldn't turn him up. Stoked. Shot. Man, he's a nice fish. Yeah, he's a stumper. There was, I was looking out on the sand and there was like three or four other trout. And I'm like, where's the big one? Where's the big Where'd one? Where'd he go, yeah? He was just under that tiny ledge. Yeah. Like, you see his head poking out. Yeah. Oh. God. How's that? Beautiful bar cheek trout. Dodgy shot placement. However, you can call it a good shot if it's in the boat. That'll be dinner tonight. What are you doing with your shop place, sir? Oh, look, I, he was trying to do the old sneak away tactic. So I thought I'd get the old, come on back here, Johnny. So, no, he, he turned last minute. So, um, 
got the unfortunate tail. tail shot, but uh, look at this is the powerhouse. Mate, they can't swim without a no, tail. They can't swim without a tail. He was bugging without the tail, but far out, he's a firm fish. He's thick through the shoulders. Mm, nice one. Awesome couple of fish, mate. I reckon put the trout on hold for a bit, see if we can't find a bit of variety. Yeah, we'll see if we can get a, a tusky or a red emperor or a green jobfish, but yeah. we'll jump in and we've got that uh, some fish frames from yesterday exactly. afternoon. We'll make it rain in about 16 metres of water and see how we go. See what comes in. All right, let's get back Jeez, in there, Anything mate. else is a bonus at this point. Successful first drift anyway, mate. On the next couple of drifts, we were seeing some great fish. Like this big GT that came storching in on me. And under this one ledge, there was three really nice coral trout. Lying on the bottom, looking like a flathead, this is actually a cobia. A couple of nice coral trout here as well. I guess this is like a Spiro's catch and release session. I found this really interesting, a big gold spot cod sitting on the bottom, hogging a little bit of a fish frame that we dropped down. He wasn't nibbling on it or even touching it. He was just as if to say that this is my food. So it made me wonder how often you're fishing line with the baits on the bottom and there's a, there's a big fish sitting right next to it and you don't even feel him. That gold spot cod just sitting there guarding that bit of burley. It's just sitting right there guarding it. Green job fish kebab right there. That's, ex up, bro. that's exactly what I wanted. Ah, there you go. Good, mate. Came in on the sand. Beautiful green job fish. These are one of my favorite fish to eat raw. Can't wait. We moved to a slightly deeper area with a sandy bottom. Having these stingrays in the air is actually a really good sign. Because as they're sucking and feeding on the bottom, and there's all these little worms and crustaceans that get spat out. And that's what these spangled emperor are waiting for, to come and scavenge to feed. So I use that exact tactic while laying on the bottom, almost pretending to be a stingray. And these spangled emperor are generally pretty cagey. They keep their distance. You can see there's a fair few fish that are about that medium size range. And I'll just try and edge closer to the school here. And then one catches my eye at the top of screen. He is an absolute beauty. I try not to get too excited and just throw a little bit of sand up and see how he reacts. He comes in, he's too smart. Then it's this game of cat and mouse. I don't want to go at him too hard because that'll spook him. So I just sink back down to the bottom, holding my breath as long as I can here, once again playing with the sand. Waiting, waiting. Here he comes, he's coming back. I stretch out and take the shot. I've hit him right in the spine and injured the fish, but the spear's slipped off. He's agonizingly close to it, but I just can't get him. So I'm pointing frantically for Az to come down and take the shot. Again. Yeah, bloody time. Oh, awesome.
Shark. Wow. That it's just retracing the steps of where that spangled emperor was shot. Wait. And this has got to be one of the reasons why we love diving together. Without teamwork, no way we would have got this fish. No way. Teamwork <laughs> makes the dream work. I was down on the bottom as it, the dive before, as goes, mate, there's some big spangled emperor down there. I swam down, I was playing in the sand, which generally makes these fish come in. And just right at the end of my breath hold, this big fellow was playing games with me. And I just got a shot right in his backbone that sort of stoned the fish, but the, pit, the spear came out. And as I was swimming up, this guy's just doing tough laps on the bottom. And I'm going, yes, dive, I can see you dive. pointing. You'll go, mm. Mm. And I, thought, I couldn't, I didn't, I saw you took a shot at something. Uh, and yeah. I saw the, the flopper coming up just spinning. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you were pointing there, charged over, and he was about a meter and a half on the bottom, just doing laps. Yeah. Doing laps, and yeah, met him halfway. And wow. Luckily, uh, we got him up to the surface. That, mate, that is by far my personal, or our personal best spangled emperor. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. It is, that's huge. Yeah. That's gigantic, isn't it? I hope this uh, this footage does it justice. Like, it's a big fish. It's a really yeah. big fish, isn't it? Look at wow. the shoulder. Yeah, that's an impressive fish. Awesome, man. We've just about got all the fish we need. Green job fish, beautiful spangled emperor, couple of trout, couple of coral trout. That tiger shark at the end was pretty cool. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it was. It was coming to sniff around the blood. Wow. Don't blame him, but he was. Yeah, his body language was quite calm. Yeah, he was which chilled. Kept us calm. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> awesome. Well, man. you boys have a bit of a drift, Benny. You can jump in, brother. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll take the wheel for. I'm going to measure him, mate. We're going to get a get him on the lie detector. So 78. Five, six, seven, eight. 78. 78 centimetre spangled emperor. <laughs> I think that'd be close to five kilos. Just I don't lift too many weights these days, but I reckon it'd be close to five kilos. So make that 4.8. <laughs> nah, no, it's definitely between four and a half and six kilos. Mate, that's a thumper. Good fish, mate. Absolute thumper. Stoked, bro. Good stuff. It didn't take Benny long to get in the action, and I saw him coming up with a thumper coral trout, but the shot looked like it was going to pull out to me, so I took a second shot to make sure of it. Although, what happens next deserves to be on Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> Fuck, he's a beauty, bro. Okay. Well, you hang on to the fish in case he kicks. You got him, or? So, these fish are surprisingly so tough. I swam down and checked in every ledge, but couldn't find this fish. Although, something else caught my eye. It was a beautiful big red emperor down on the bottom. He's probably one of the most prized fish you can get on the reef here. The red emperor, beautiful eating. Sort of the king of the reef. They um, staunch around like they like they own the joint down there. So pretty stoked to see one in in shallow water. They're normally in in water too deep for me to dive to, but I got a bit lucky today, and thankfully he's coming home for tea. Phew. Streak. Feels like only yesterday, mate, we were there doing the same thing. Yeah. And uh, good to see that it's still incredibly healthy with marine life. We picked off 
a couple of our favourite fish. Mm. You ended up with a red emperor on the last dive. Yep. We started with a couple of beautiful coral trout, yeah. a green job fish, a beautiful big spangled emperor. Mate, we couldn't have asked for much more. And mate, the quality of the fish left there is what sort of impressed me. We were swimming past trout like this, you know, it was Dozens amazing. Dozens of them. Amazing. It was, it, we were honestly diving in a couple of hundred meter area yeah. and I, the life was just extraordinary. And especially that big tiger shark that, that came tiger in at the end. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. He was pretty chilled though down the bottom, which was cool. It was good to see. Yeah, <laughs> mate, I think it's time for us to go get chilled on the island, cook up this feast and um, take the pace off the Savo, eh? Definitely, and for all the viewers out there, guys, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. If you haven't uh, got onto it already, Facebook, Instagram, you'll be able to find a lot of content that, say, didn't make this cut, or mm -hmm. the other vids, so stay tuned, and we really hope to see you guys out here. Cheers. Phew! Let's go, mate. Ooh, the tide's dropping! Let's go! <laughs> we'll be stranded here soon. We actually will be stranded here.